you know i was very surprised when i went to canada first time i was um, um supposed to be with the a person whose flat was uh, on in on 15th floor so here we are going in the lift and what i found there was uh, 13 number floor is missing after 12 it straight away says 14th floor i said where did the 13th floor go he said 13 is a very unlucky number it's a devil's number and if we keep the 13 number floor nobody will buy that apartment because 13 is a devil's number i said but whether you write it or not but the so called 14 is a 13 number it is 13 this is but yet we don't write 13 we write it 14 strange but every region every country they have set off their uh misconceptions and they have a list of their fears and their phobias and people are so paranoid about it like one time i was in england and i stay in area called slau so sometimes when i go for a walk there is a graveyard and i find that vintage graveyard such a beautiful place i said you know the house is not very big there were so many people to meet me i said why can't we have our meeting at the graveyard so much open space trees nice flowers nice breeze let's have a darshan time at no people are scared why would they go to a graveyard i said that's the actually best place to hold satsang see death is right there once upon a time they were all alive then they died then they went into grave so we all living beings should take a lesson be aware live life nicely otherwise don't fight for money don't do adultery you know don't do corruption don't do bribery don't do bad things don't do sins because end of the day you won't take anything with you in the grave and wow well, they said no we'll arrange for some hall but not a graveyard but i really found it one time i was saying to purnanand i said maybe next time if there is some new stotras which i have done i'll sit and sing over there you can record me you know the video which you do you know, i'll do it over there not yet haven't got the chance to do it people don't understand like i used to love going to cremation grounds in amritsar my hometown why because the most intense meditative experience happened to me after my first visit to the cremation ground with the swami ji who took us there and he said well that's the that's the reality of the human body it just gets burnt like this all your attainments all your achievements are like of no use that first you know visit to the shamshan the cremation ground just hit me hard and made me you know in a second everything changed some gear shifted some gear shifted went from a normal ordinary girl to a somebody else who is more uh, eager to it was not that i i i started sitting in meditations but the meditation started happening to me for long long hours long long hours what a beautiful experience now people find it oh it's a very unholy place i feel that's the holiest place because namami shamishan nirvana rupam that's the place of mahadev which place can be better than that the one who uses the ashes of a cremated body and decorates his own body who accepts the death and celebrates the death is mahadev what best can one do to learn 
how to come out of all all possessiveness, obsessiveness, vasanas and to the, the race of the world, and you just take a a nice peekaboo into the reality of the death and reality of life and also the importance of sadhana. People get scared of some son. I don't. Yeah, sure. Because the body which is dead is like impure. Why? The prana has left. Hence now it is impure. It's of no use to anybody. Hence, if you touch a, a dead body, you need to take a bath because it's like you don't touch your own um, urine or feces and by chance, if you, while cleaning up yourself, you need to wash up your hands with the soap because it's unclean. So a body from which the prana has left has become equally unclean now. So, but if you don't touch anything and you just be there, and watch, mm, the fears can't be there. 